Okay, I'm kicking off a new video series here called Deconstructing Dembski. Uh, this is, video is going to be an introduction and a syllabus to the uh, lectures to follow. Basically what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, walking through the book The Design Inference by William Dembski. This book really is the uh, core of the new renaissance in uh, design argument uh, theories that have been, been having lately. I mean, if you very trendy subject, very uh, very up to date subject. Uh, I'd like to give a thanks to Urban Elf for his suggestion to read through this book, and uh, uh, I'll give a link to his uh, videos on the subject in the sidebar. Please do um, watch his videos as well. And apologies to Azernach. Uh, his new book, The Absurdity of Philosophy, is much much more important than Dembski's book, uh, but I haven't got a chance to read all the way through it yet, so. <laughs> I'd much rather be walking through Ezra Nock's book than this one. Uh, don't read Dembski's book and go read Ezra Nock's book. But um, if you want to, uh, <laughs> if you want to follow this video series, you certainly can. Okay, there's a lot of interesting issues uh, that are around this book. Okay, can we tell when something happened by chance versus when something happened by design? Uh, does the natural world bear the marks of its creator? Is everything just chance and chaos and meaninglessness? All these issues are uh, are brought up by Dembski's book. So here's the methodology that uh, I always try to use um, when understanding a new author. Um, you'll never, ever, ever understand a person if you first try to read them hostily. Okay, the best way to understand any thinker is assume what they're saying is 100% correct. All right. It's the only way that you can understand it. If you, if you try to read them hostily, you'll just muddy the waters to the point where you'll never be able to understand them. Now, once you do understand them, then you can proceed to criticize them. Okay, but um, what we're going to do here is, you know, I'm not going to be uh, just like, you know, carping at Dembski. I'm going to do an honest effort to really present what he's, what he's got in his book here. Okay, but... A uh, fair warning, just to let you know which side of this issue I'm on, I'm going to ultimately conclude that Dempsey's book is uh, uh, wrong, quite wrong, actually. But but um, you know, no matter which side of the debate that you're on, I, I hope you'll find this lecture series very useful. Okay, so, fair warning. Um, actually, this series is kind of like YouTube suicide, because <laughs> I'm not going to do a lot of uh, uh, you know fancy production here. There's going to be no... Uh, cool music and everything. It's going to be mostly just chalkboard. Dembski's book references a lot of very advanced mathematics. And um, I really thought about it hard, and there's just no way that I can offer a watered-down exposition of this. Okay, so my aim is to give a complete and exhaustive presentation of the math that's involved here. Okay, this is going to be the real McCoy. All right. No, this is not the Reader's Digest condensed version. This is not the uh, you know, you know, a person in the pew uh, exposition here. Okay, this is the real. This is the real McCoy. Okay. To that end, there's going to be homework. All right. So I will be assigning and grading homeworks, and I promise. Okay, I will have infinite patience in explaining to anybody who truly wants to understand this stuff. You can do this, okay? I don't know anybody on YouTube who is too dumb. I'm sure I, I can eventually walk anybody through this math, but it's really hard math, okay? But do not, you know, give up just because of that, okay? If you really want to do this, if you really have the desire to, to learn this stuff, uh, you can learn this stuff. There's, there's me and there's plenty of other people on YouTube who are more than happy to help you, Okay? Okay, so the flip side, though, is, you know, if you really want to understand, I will help you. If you don't, okay, don't just come here to, like, you know, say that I'm lost or bogus or all this kind of stuff, right? Okay, yeah, just take it someplace else, all right? I'm, you know, I'll, that's all I'll say about that, okay? For the Christians, memorize Romans 14.1 and live by it. For everybody else, okay, memorize Ezra Knox saying here, you know, seek to be right, not to have been right, Okay? So the textbook that will be used here, uh, first of all, of course, is Design Inference by William Dembski. That's the, the book that started it all. Uh, online, you can find at the link that I'll give here and in the sidebar. Um, 
a uh, series of notes by a professor called uh, Peter Gax, Lecture Notes on Descriptional Complexity and Randomness. Uh, if you go there and look at it, you're going to be really scared, but don't be scared. It's not as tough as it looks. Well, actually, it is as tough as it looks, but I, I can help you. All right. Uh, another book recommended, A Como Grow Complexity by Lee and Vitani. Okay, now, guys, don't be scared, okay? This really is tough, tough math that we're talking about here, okay? Just to give you an idea, it, it took me about 12 years, I think, to learn all the math that is going to be presented here. But it doesn't have to be, I mean, it's going to be tough. You're going to have to do some work here. There's no, no free lunch on this one. All right. What do you need to know? I tried to make this as simple as possible, but there's just no way. You're going to have to know algebra in order to, uh, in order to do this. Um, but whatever you, you're lacking, if you've, if you've ever um, you know, had algebra class, if you think you've forgotten it or all this kind of stuff, or maybe you haven't had algebra, I'll, I'll try to explain as much as you need. Not that much, so you can probably pick it up. All right. There's a lot of other YouTube videos that can help you with this. Okay, so Trondrichen has a most excellent series called Reasoning Under Uncertainty, which will be very, very helpful. Uh, see the playlist on his channel. Okay, just watch absolutely as many of those videos as you can. Uh, he really, really explains a lot of the, the cool stuff here. Okay, also, search for a, a fellow by the name of Gregory Kitan on YouTube. Just type it in the search box and, and go. Um, the field of, of the mathematics that we're going to be using here is called Kolmogorov complexity, but it's really unfair. Okay, uh, it was invented by three different people independently of each other. Uh, one of them was Gregory Kitan, and he actually invented this stuff while he was in high school. So he's like, this is super genius. Um, and he fortunately has a lot of videos on uh, YouTube. So just go and watch absolutely as many of his videos as you can. Uh, that will give you also more other, more and cool background information for this. All right. So I won't be going through Dembski's book chapter by chapter. That would just be very, very confusing for the uninitiated. Okay. Rather, I'll be going through it in a different order, which I think will be easier for the beginner. So first, I'll give you the tools for thinking about Dembski's chapters or, you know, the, the portions that we cover. And then I'll go ahead and analyze the book itself. All right. Now, I emphasize that this is going to be a lot of hard work, and it, it is. I mean, you've got to pay your dues if you want to sing the blues, man, and it's not going to come easy. So what are you going to get in return for all this hard work, okay? So you will get the ability to understand and critically analyze Dempsey's arguments. You will be able to understand every word in his book, I promise. You will have a comprehensive knowledge of the intellectual basis for the contemporary renaissance of these design arguments. Okay, you will know everything there is to know about, um, you know, why uh, intelligent design is such a big deal these days. All right, and you will have the ability to participate this uh, on a level playing field with anybody else, you know, on equal terms. Um, this lecture series is going to give you the real thing. And I, I, I'm not going to water it down at all. Um, I would expect <laughs> that my last video in the series maybe might have one half of a viewer. So I don't expect this to be a uh, very much of a uh, series which is going to get me a lot of subscribers or going to have a lot of viewers. But, okay, you know, there's going to be rewards. If you stick with it, um, I promise you there, there will be rewards in the end.